All right, this is um, Sult 1809, The Marshals by Victus Magazine Game. First volume in the Marshals uh, series. This is the French operation. Um, first thing first, I'm going to use these uh, two French decoys that I would have set up with. Um, makes sense that they would be towards the front there. I'm going to take one of these decoys and I'm going to add it to the farthest forward cavalry force that, that I already moved there. And I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to add it to the force that I sent to Ovar. Oh, that was an infantry unit. So I'm going to add one to that unit to make it look stronger than it is. There. Alright, so two French decoys are in play where I would have done that early on. Um, let's see. Um, the French have a lot of options here, or they have several options where the Anglo allies are, are done, I believe, effectively done, if not really done. Um, so, I think one thing, you know, because the, this angle allied force came here, nor, uh, north, straight up the highway there, and I think maybe this Dragoon unit comes over here. Um, I think he will do that. Now, again, I don't have to declare anything. So, in order, grab my, oh, I, I should have done this for the Anglo allies, so I'm going to do it for the French. Review um, these event markers. So first of all, the French have this Elan um, event marker right there. Um, what it is, you play during phase three, that's the operations phase, during a combat if an infantry unit is part of the stack. And I'm going to add, when you play this, you get plus one um, CP. That's a combat point. Combat point, combat potential, something like that. The combat power. Uh, so that's what that's worth. Um, not bad, but a straight combat modifier there. So let's do... So we activate the stack. So I'm going to activate the... Uh, eighth, eighth? Yeah, eighth dragoon. Oops, eighth dragoons there. Morale of five in the top right. Movement value of nine. Black number in the bottom right. All right, so I'm going to activate them. They do have to roll a command test. Ooh, not good. <laughs> One, not good. Um, there is no subordinate commander there to add its strategic, his strategic value. We do add one because it's an old cavalry unit. And we do add one as well because it has a line of um, communication to the to the army commander, to the commander-in-chief, which is Sult here. Um, so, modified three. So, modified three means it gets half of its movement value. Uh-huh. wonder what I do with fractions, but, hmm. Well, this already has an effect, because I wanted to go at least as far as here, which would be three. Um, uh, oh. Yeah, I wanted to go there, which would have been three movement points per centier, which would have been nine, which would have been the full movement. Wow. Um, wonder if I should change the plan. One, two, three. Four. No, that doesn't work. Well, he'll still continue on. But what, what it is is I wanted to get to at least here, but instead, he has half of his movement point, uh, movement allowance 4.5, and that sentier connection is cost 3. So it's 3. I would mark it on the end there. Um, but th that's all that's going to go on there. I grab a fatigue. It's one, fa it's one fatigue, and that's that. Um, Did 
Yeah. All right. So that's purely because of a low roll on the command test. I'm going to invert them. Oh. Hmm, what to do with the angle allied turn? Um, the angle allies, their three forces have all um, activated for operations. They have event chits. But I'm going to go ahead and not take a look at the angle allied event chits. And I think I'm going to go ahead and play. I'll just play the rest of the French turns here. It's just, this is this is a solo, um, you know, this is an adjustment solely for solo play. Um, uh, uh, no. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let me see if I can get this infantry uh, infantry unit to there. Yeah. So again, it's going to come down to a command test. <laughs> That's really bad. Um, so it's going to be adjusted to two because it has a line of communications. It's not all cavalry. No subordinate commander. So it's basically nothing. It gets no movement points and it's considered activated. Wow. That is too bad. So now, see if Sult takes this whole force over here to get opposite that angle of al allied force, then it gets way off on the flank here for tracing all of the lines of communication back to him. The other thing is that Sult simply stays here and sends this stack this way which is actually a possibility. You know what, for gaming purposes, I'm going to do that. So there is no command test because he is the commander-in-chief with the star there. He's actually going to stay here. He can send this force away. Um, oh. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, yeah. I just noticed this force has the baggage trains. Oh, I know what. The baggage trains will stay with Sult. That's what it is. So, baggage trains stay with Sult. Like that. And then infantry, infantry, artillery, artillery, and horse artillery. Now, it's still limited to four. Well, we'll do it anyway, so don't need a command test. Oh, so they get their full. Okay, so now now we go to movement. They have their full movement allowance, and now it's a matter of fatigue. So they move along this um, road connection. They do go through a pont, or I guess a bridge, which does not add anything to movement. So we draw a fatigue mark. Ooh, fatigue two. Um, now fatigue two by itself isn't going to do anything. Um, I think what's relevant is the morale of the two infantry units. So we have Foy and Renault. Um, so I want to pay attention to their morale, which is four and four. All right, so the two infantry units have a morale of four. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm only going one more anyways, so they do go ahead, they move one more road connection, that would be four. It's two, yeah, two per, per road. The artillery has a limit of, has a movement allowance of four, but I still draw another fatigue marker, one, okay. So that is three altogether. Um, that does not stop the infantry, right, the cab, oh wait, there's no cavalry, yeah, the horse, oh, but not, I'm trying to remember, there, there was the issue of what 
the morale of artillery is. I think it's a base morale. Let's see if I can find it quickly. Um, I know it was um, artillery, artillery. It's in here. Or maybe, or maybe it was in the errata. Um, artillery, artillery, artillery. Where is it? Artillery. Oh, maybe it was in the errata. Um, well, I don't think it's. I don't think it's less than three. Um, oh. Artillery. Artillery doesn't take... Uh, I don't think artillery takes fatigue anyways. Did I go over that bef before? Um... Oh wow, I gotta really pay attention to this. Um, baggage and artillery. Um, okay, so they're not tested for fatigue. But they also cannot use the Sentier paths anyways. Wow! That... Did I violate that already? No, because they're they're artillery, they're um cavalry. Okay, so I I didn't violate that, but I gotta pay attention to that. So, so the artillery isn't going through all these squiggly connections, anyways, which are the sentier. Okay, um, so th so three is fine. The artillery is out of their movement allowance, anyways. So. I think this force is like this, and I guess this force has to stay on the board like that. I flip, I invert them. Um, now, I'm going to send this cavalry force is going to come down and try to join Sult. It's two cavalry units. Oh, that's. Hmm. All right. Test um, command. Um, does yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, plus one for so they get half of there because they have a line of communication. And they're all cavalry. So modified to a three. Wow. That's really. <laughs> so four point five, which means they are going to move uh, two. Draw fatigue. Ooh. And. They both have a morale of five and five. So then um three four. They would draw another one for three. But they run out of movement points. Huh. Didn't even get close to <laughs> Sult down here, which I'm gonna leave. Um I'll leave Loison here. All right, I'm kind of cleaning up now because we're at the very beginning of the game and everything is not. I'm gonna leave that art, that cavalry. Keep wanting to say artillery, cavalry there. Taking these forces off to Loison's box over here. Elon. All right, um, Sult and the baggage trains. Do baggage trains stay stay on? Uh, I don't I don't remember, but hmm. I'm trying to remember if you can leave markers. Basically, do you have to use the off-board boxes? I don't remember that. 
I don't remember that. I'll check that at some point. Um, I think that's it. I think that's the end of turn one. Um, so there is an administrative phase after this operations phase. Remove any remaining uh, backs to the river markers and has combated markers. That, it, by the way, is um, back to the river and, yeah, has combated markers. So we remove all those. Uh, test for recuperation. <laughs> recuperation. It, there's nothing wrong with the word recuperation, but I think most games would call that like recovery or um, rallying even. But anyways, that's bringing back. I think recuperation is getting strength back, if I remember correctly. Still sounds funny. Um, administrative phase. At the end of the turn, remove all the remaining as combated and back to, back to the river markers. Test any necessary recuperation. Test any necessary rallying of demoralize you. Okay, so recuperation is actually, you know, reconstitution of strength, which is different than rallying from demoralization. Turn the units to their available side and move the turn uh, marker forward. So that's all straightforward and direct. Um, let me see if there's anything unusual there. No, I guess there isn't. So, um, units haven't lost anything, and no units are demoralized. Try to remember demoralized. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. Demoralized. So, there's none of that. So, we um, would... So, we're going to go through, make all of our units um, available again. That's what it is. It's not activated. It's available. Um, available. Oops. They never moved. Um, so all of the A's on the marker backs here should be upright. So, do do do. Oh yeah, they never moved. I have flipped that unnecessarily. All right, and then there are a lot fewer Anglo-Allied. And then, and then the, the turn marker. Go to the 9th of May, and that's the administrative phase.